God's word is powerful because it is a purpose in our lives. The psalmist says, Yahweh's word is perfect in every way, how it revives our souls. Yahweh's laws lead us to truth, and His ways change the simple into wise. Yahweh's teachings are right and make us joyful. His precepts are so pure. Yahweh's commands challenge us to keep close to His heart. The revelation light of His word makes my spirit shine radiant. Yahweh's decrees are trustworthy. The fear of Yahweh is pure, enduring forever. The rarest treasure of life are found in His truth. That is why God's word is prized like others prize the finest gold. By listening daily to His word, may His love be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, we are the circumcision. We who worship through the Spirit of God, who boast in Christ Jesus and do not put our confidence in flesh, although I myself have grounds for confidence even in the flesh. If anyone else thinks he can be confident in flesh, all the more can I. Circumcised on the eighth day of the race of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrew parentage, in observance of the law, a Pharisee in zeal, I persecuted the church in righteousness based on the law I was blameless. But however, gains I had, this I have come to consider a loss because of Christ. More than that, I even consider everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. Responsorial Psalm Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Sing to Him, sing His praise, proclaim all His wondrous deeds, glory in His holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search the Lord. Look to the Lord in His strength. Seek to serve Him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that He has wrought, His portents and the judgments He has uttered. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. You, descendants of Abraham, His servants, sons of Jacob, His chosen ones, He the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth His judgments prevail. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eat with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one? until he finds it, and when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy, and upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, and says to them, 
Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having ten coins and losing one, would not tie it a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.